my favorite color. I could say blue, the color of the sky, but then what about the green, the color of the trees, or better yet, spring green? What about white, the color of purity? Or black, I could say my favorite color is black because that's the color of the night when you go to sleep. Mmm, sleep. You know, I really, if everything was the same color, even if it wasn't my favorite color, it'd be a dull world. So, my favorite color is variety. It takes all the colors together, working together, to make one big, beautiful picture. And in, and this does not, this means if you're a white person or a black person or red or yellow or if you're a mixed person, you fit in the picture. And don't ever let anybody try to exclude you because it takes all to make one. Anyways, 
We found out who the, uh, the father was. Soon after that, a cat that we named, named, named Smokey. Well, the cat we adopted, we adopted Daisy. And, oh, I can, let me tell you what color they were. Saturn was an orange marmalade cat. And I used to call it a tiger cat because it was the color of a tiger. But it was really, she was really, didn't have any black on it, just an orange and white marmalade. Sugar was a calico cat. White with black and brown spots. Uh, mostly white, but brown and black spots you know, on her head and on, and on her back. And Daisy, she was a black and white cat. Mostly white, but you know, with black spots on her. Well, Daisy started doing the same thing Saturn used to do. At night, she'd come jump on my bed, want to be petted and loved. <laughs> I love that. Okay, over time, we found this black cat in the woods, and Mom brought her home. She named her Midnight, but I used, to, we, ever, I used to call her the Dookie Cat, and the name stuck. We always referred to her as the Dookie Cat. <laughs> and then we found, adopted another cat, a white cat that had been abused by somebody. His name was Mr. White. Well, eventually he died of a rare kind of leukemia. And then after that, we adopted one more uh, dark colored cat. We named him Buddy. Well, my sugar, in 1994, Sugar and I became really close to cat. I would pet, and I finally coached him to falling asleep on me, laying on my lap. I ain't good memories. She passed away November 19th, 1997. The last time I cast to die was in 2001, I think. Two, 2002, something like that day. We had to put her to sleep because she'd grown exceedingly obese and she had a huge spot. She, she was only a matter of time before she finally gave in. Today, however, my mama has birds. We had a bird named Missy, but she passed. Now she's got a bird named Cornelius. But I still have dreams sometimes about sugar. My cat. And you ask about my favorite songs. Well, it's got kind of, it depends on how I'm feeling at the moment. I have no like the color the colors is all the songs that I love that make my life wonderful. If I can only listen to one song in the world, eventually I'd grow tired of it and miserable. My favorite song is all the songs that I love. If you can understand that, if that makes any sense, I'm a complex personality. I can't keep things simple. I just gotta be all complex. But you know, in your mind that I'm told by my grandpa that over 10,000 thoughts a second that run through your mind in your subconscious. Maybe I'm just a little more tuned to what, maybe I'm going, maybe I'm digging too deep into myself. Some accuse me once of thinking too much. But anyways, I, I love 80s music. I, you, I swear to God, I love 80s music. I love 80s and 70s music and music from the early 90s. The music of the day, it sucked. It ain't music. The music business doesn't make music today. The music business, ha <laughs> ha! That's an oxymoron! And you know what an oxymoron is? A contradiction in terms. It's like saying a straight gay person or a Christian Satanist. Rain or sunshine. Preferably, I prefer those cool fall sunny days. Get the beta waves in my brain going. Get me thinking, reminiscing, give me feeling almost spiritual, man. It's raining right now tonight. It was sunny earlier today. I love sunny days. I also love those cold winter days. I'm telling you, but I'm thankful for the rainy days because if, if it wasn't for the rainy days, we couldn't appreciate sunny days as much. I'm telling you, it's like a song. You have a verse and a chorus. If the song is just a chorus the whole time, the exciting part, you go tired of it. It's that contrast you learn. The fact that you have one part that's not as exciting leads to the part that goes BANG! You learn a lot about contrast as you grow up older. I don't know how old you are. But I do have a question for you. I hope to God you're the real deal. I hope you're really my friend. Because I had somebody recently, last year, posing as two girls, two blondes, pretending to be all my friend and all that, and set me up for the kill. And, it, and, and they finally said, and they got me to trust him and everything, finally said, look, I'm, and he was some guy I knew from Kiss, and he said, you are a loser, 
you are this, that, this, that, and you're never going to make it anywhere in life. See, that's why I want a picture. If y'all want to make sure you're the real deal, that you really are a friend, are you really a female? You're not just some guy trying to set me up, are you? Because, I mean, I'm scared. I, I'm, I'm scared to let myself think I got a true friend, let myself think someone finally cares about me. I'm scared to. Are you for real? I, I really want to be able to let loose and take you in as a friend. But are you for real? I've got to know that you really mean business. You're not just leaving me alone and by the nose. Because there are a lot of people who do that today. Because I am a loser. <laughs> I, I'm going to change that one day. I'm going to be a winner someday. You want to see.